Breaking tonight, a tragic end to the search for a missing pilot who took off from Arlington headed across the Cascades to Ephrata. Searchers found the wreckage of his plane today near Humpback Mountain. Good evening, I'm Greg Copeland. I'm Jessica Janner Castro. The pilot was first reported missing late yesterday, and at one point, more than 200 people were assisting in the search for him. King 5's Eric Wilkinson brings us the update. Unfortunately, some sad news to report just in the past 90 minutes or so we've learned that search crews did find the wreckage of that plane with the 69 year old pilot dead inside. Search crews narrowed their focus to a one mile radius around the humpback mountain area of the Cascades. About 65 rescue workers searched by foot as well. The terrain is steep and heavily wooded. We have a pretty good idea where we should be able to find this airplane. It's just really hard uh, with the, the height of these trees and how dense they are to, to finally get eyes on the target down in between that. Flight tracking software put the plane just west of Snoqualmie Pass. The pilot, 69-year-old Jerry Ridinger of Bellevue, took off from the Arlington Airport yesterday at around 4.30, bound for Afreda, where his wife was waiting for him. The flight should have taken a little over an hour. When Ridinger didn't show up, his wife called for help. Search crews started their efforts around 7 o'clock last night. We use that data, which has better coverage in this area than actual radar does and the, the tracks for his flight and uh, just behind us here in the hills. The pilot is said to be very experienced. In fact, the plane he was flying is called an Extra 300, designed for aerobatics or stunts. There was an aerobatic gathering in Afreda over the weekend. It's believed that's where Ridinger was headed. This is a, a, an advanced aircraft, so definitely not a, a novice pilot uh, at the controls here. Uh, so it takes some, some skills to be able to operate an aircraft like this and do the aerobatics in it. There was no distress call from the plane and no rescue beacon has been activated. Ridinger did have a parachute with him, but he apparently didn't deploy it. That's kind of the mystery of what, you know, what happened. We don't know. Exactly what caused the plane to go down is still unknown. The NTSB is investigating. At Snoqualmie Pass, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.